Hi, I'm Jose from Sophos Support, and I'll be showing you how to configure Sophos email external dependencies for Microsoft 365. This is a two-part series. In this part, I'll focus on the configuration of inbound settings. In the next part, I'll walk you through the outbound configuration, and this video is linked in the description. Sophos Email Gateway can be integrated with external mail clients to send and receive messages on their behalf. To function properly with these protected email servers, external dependencies must be set up. A number of mail clients can be integrated with Sophos Email, but I'll be focusing on Microsoft 365. Refer to our link documentation for details about other clients. I'll cover the inbound configuration steps in Sophos Central, the steps in Microsoft 365, then I'll show you how to update your MX records, and finally verify your inbound configuration. Before you start, you must have a Sophos email license. You must be the administrator of the domain. You must also be the global admin of the M365 environment. And finally, you must be a super admin in Sophos Central. Let's get started in Sophos Central. The first step is to add your domain and verify ownership. Go to Email Security, Settings, Domain Settings or Status, click Add Domain. Now, enter the email domain you want to protect. Click on Verify Domain Ownership. This will give you a TXT value which you need to enter in your public DNS server to prove you're the owner. Go to your domain's DNS server. In this example, I'm using Cloudflare. So note that the procedure may differ slightly in your specific environment. Enter the TXT value and set the time to live or TTL. Return to Sofa Central and click on Verify. Please note that there may be a delay before the DNS information can propagate, so you may need to wait for a minute before performing this step. If the domain verification still fails, this may indicate a misconfiguration, so double check your settings. When verification is complete, select Close. To tidy up, you can return to the DNS server and delete the TXT entry as it's no longer needed. By default, the direction is set to inbound only. On the inbound destination, choose MX from the drop-down menu. Enter the MX value. A typical value is shown here. You can leave the port number as 25, but 587 is also supported. Click Save. Next, ensure that there are mailboxes for your users present in Sofa Central. This is vital for Sofa's email's functionality. Any user that does not have a corresponding mailbox or alias within Sophos email will be rejected. Mailboxes can be set up in several ways. Refer to the videos linked in the description for detailed steps. Once your mailboxes are in place, we'll move to Microsoft 365 to continue our configuration. Here, we'll bypass Exchange Online Protection or EOP, which is Microsoft's anti-spam protection. Bypassing this ensures Sophos is the only one performing a scan for the customer, and this makes troubleshooting simpler if a false positive occurs. Let's start in the Exchange Admin Center. In the left panel, expand mail flow and click Rules. Click Add a Rule and choose Create a New Rule. Enter Sophos Central EOP Bypass as the name. Now, set these conditions. Set Apply this rule if to apply to all messages. Set do the following to modify the message properties and set the spam confidence level. As soon as you choose it, the specify SCL window will slide in. Make sure that the bypass spam filtering is selected from the drop down menu. Once you click save, you will see that the value of the spam confidence level or SCL is set to dash one, which means that spam filtering is bypassed. Click next. In set rule settings, under the rule mode, make sure that enforce is selected. Set the severity to low. Then click next, click finish, and click on done once you see the message transport rule created successfully. This will take you back to the rules screen. Finally, ensure the new bypass rule is active and takes precedence over all others. Check that Sofa Central EOP bypass is enabled. If not, click the disabled status and turn the switch on. The new rule should also be at the top of the list. If needed, select the rule and click on Move Up until it is at the top. 
Next, we'll create a secure connector so that Microsoft 365 can accept emails processed by Sovos email. In the Exchange Admin Center, expand mail flow and click on Connectors. Click Add a Connector. Under Connection From, select Partner Organization. The Connection To field is grayed out and set to Office 365 since M365 knows that messages will be sent from Sophos email to itself. Click Next. We recommend entering Sophos email inbound connector as the name. A description is optional. Make sure that Turn It On is selected to enable the connector immediately after we complete the configuration. Then click Next. Select the sender domain option. Enter an asterisk. This means that the connector will accept emails from any domain. Alternatively, you can add specific domains if you wish to restrict messages allowed by the connector. However, we'll add a restriction using another method in the next steps. Click the plus sign to add it. Then click next. Make sure that reject email messages if they aren't sent over TLS is selected. Also select reject email messages if they aren't sent from within the IP address range. Enter the IP addresses shown in Sophos email under Configure External Dependencies, Inbound Settings tab. Note, your specific range may be different depending on which region your central account belongs to, so configure accordingly. Setting the IP range ensures M365 only accepts inbound emails coming from Sophos email. Any spam messages that bypass Sophos will be rejected. Click Next, then Create Connector, and click Done. Note, we recommend keeping this connector on top of all others unless there is a specific reason for doing so in your environment. If the connector isn't at the top, mail flow from the Sophos side may be negatively impacted. Lastly, return to the domain's public DNS and update the MX record. We want to point the domain to Sophos email. The recommended MX records can be found under Configure External Dependencies Inbound Settings Set the desired priority. We recommend using 10, but you can set the value to suit your needs. Once updated, Sophos email inbound scanning is fully active, which is why we perform this last. Now, let's test our configuration by sending a test inbound email to one of the protected recipients. To confirm that the message flowed through Sophos, view the message history report. In Sophos Central, go to Logs and Reports, Message History. You should see the test email in the list and the last status should show Delivery Successful. If after 30 minutes, the email has not been received by the user or showed up in the message history, please check for any NDR notification sent back to the sender, as this would indicate what went wrong. And that completes the inbound configuration. I hope you found this video useful. Let us know by giving us a thumbs up on TechVids and let us know if we resolve your issue. Make sure you check out the other video in the series which covers the outbound configuration. The video is linked in the description. Check out the documentation for this video in the video description. For further assistance, view and post questions on community.sophos.com and go to techvids.sophos.com for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.